in the embodiment seminar, I presented a paper about Ectotoma ruidum, which is my very favorite ant species. And uh, uh, it started uh, with, with a story of uh, how I fell in love with this ant in 1997. I basically saw it doing things that uh, would likely make a sociobiologist upset. So if um, sociobiologists imagine ant colonies as a superorganism where uh, individual adults are analogous to cells. In this ant, uh, you know, the cells were running wild. They were, they were moving between uh, distinct nests. And, uh, you know, falling in love with that ant as an undergrad, at, at that point I was an undergrad major in biology and anthropology, uh, led me to come back ten, 10 years later as a, a National Science Foundation postdoc. So. I applied for this grant uh, to do an ethnography of science in Panama at Boro, Colorado Island. Uh, but when I went back to do this ethnography, um, I found myself drawn back um, to, this, to this one particular species. So, so basically this study of Ectotoma ruidum is part of a bigger project. I'm tussling with this neo-Heideggerian philosopher, Peter, Peter Slaughterdyke, who says that humans are exceptional because we're amphibious. Uh, Slaughterdyke claims that uh, the human an animal is, is um, choosing what environment to live in. So, so if a literal amphib amphibian is choosing between water and air, uh, Slaughterdyke's figural amphibian, the human, is choosing amongst environmental worlds. Uh, so, so Ectotoma is one of a number of species that uh, I found moving amongst worlds and sometimes even world forming. And what this paper, um, ended up being about is uh, how, how humans and, and other creatures might, might form worlds together, but also, uh, more importantly, how, how uh, uh, creatures like Ectotoma can escape, how they um, can prove resistant to our attempts to enlist them in uh, assemblages or assemblies, uh, to use a Latourian term. Um, I found that Ectotoma was, was always escaping beyond, moving past uh, to, to invoke a, a keyword of stingers, um, these cosmopolitical worlds. So, so cosmopolitical worlds, in the words of Isabel Stingers, are formed against the backdrop uh, of the unknown. So there's this, this beyond, um, and you know, we can form these provisional structures of knowledge about you know, things, and, and we can populate those, those worlds that we know with specific organisms. So ectotoma is, is uh, one of those organisms that has been, in a contingent way, enlisted in co common cosmopolitical projects, but it's also always escaping into the beyond. So, so Ectotoma, rather than being in this fixed relationship with other species, um, is open to new beings and becomings. I, I make an argument in the paper that it can perceive the interests of others and has mo motivation to fulfill those interests. This is. Uh, a sentiment that uh, Laurie Gruen calls entangled empathy. I'm pushing Laurie a bit out of the realm of primates where she formulated that concept, but I'm, I'm trying to think about um, other species that um, not just are agents in the world in the sense that Bruno Latour talks about, uh, you know, things that might be enlisted in the production of, uh, you know, these assemblies that, that Latour celebrates, um, but, but I'm also thinking about these creatures as agents of enlistment in their own right, who are forming ensembles, forming assemblages, and uh, rather than privileging the human as, as the agent of entrepreneurial en enlistment, uh, this project is trying to decenter that. Part, part of what's motivating this project with Ectotoma is a concern for um, what Tom Van Doren and Debbie Berg Rose call unloved others, creatures that um, you know, are beyond the pale of most calculuses of um, what, what gets to count as a life form with rights. Uh, so, you know, in, in contrast to folks who focus on creatures that are like us, primates or, you know, exceptional animals like dolphins, I've, I've chosen a creature that's exceptional in different sorts of ways and um, sort of destabilizes and troubles anthropocentrisms that, that guide uh, a lot of research in the humanities and social sciences. I don't always complete my <laughs> sentences. <laughs>